What's going on guys, it's Wolfie here and I just want to do a quick introduction to my Borussia Glad oh for flip sake this always comes up to my Borussia Gladbach series on Manager 2014. Basically, um yeah you can pretty much see it for yourself. My job status is untouchable. Um I'm just gonna show you quickly um fixtures. Um I've been undefeated all season. I don't know how I don't know what I've done to this team. Um, well, not all season because I lost my first away match against uh, Bayern Munich, which was expected. But um, since then, I've been undefeated. And as you can see here, like there have been times when our defeat undefeated streak has been coming to an end. And for some reason, the team just pulls it back 5-3, 5-1, 5-4, 4-2. -4 Such big results. We beat Dortmund 3-0. Um, here we beat Hamburg 5-0 away. Like, the team... 8-0 in our cup match, um, in our friendly match, sorry, during the January break. 2-1 against Bayern Munich. Oh my gosh, I love this team so much. 2-1 against Mainz. 6-1 against Braunschweig. Oh mate, it's, it's just incredible. I've had, I'm having so much fun and I'm definitely going to be doing, doing a series on this. Um, I've just been playing loads of games because I can't stop. I'm enjoying the series so much, I just literally can't stop. Um, transfers. Uh transfer history as you can see here um our first signing was adrian luna on a free we signed ivan obradovich on a free casper kusk we got for 450k we activated his um his claws patrick fluke um who may i say for a 17 year old is absolutely amazing we signed him for 675k alessio churchy from torino we got him on a loan for, um fee for six 63k per week per month sorry um and this was all in the summer the first summer window um and we only spent one point something million altogether and then in january just to add some more depth we signed dedrick boyata from manchester city for 600k we signed raul de thomas who had some buzz for some reason around him we signed him for 400k um carlos labrin we signed on a free because we needed some more depth in center back and we needed another goalkeeper so we signed tim we say who I think played for, was it Hanno? Was it was it Hoffenheim? Oh, the game's gonna lag now, is it? No, here we go. Who did he play for? Oh, Werder Bremen. Was it? No, it wasn't. Yeah, Hoffenheim. I knew it. Yeah, so we got him. So altogether, we spent two hundred um, two point eleven million um, on those players there. Um, getting rid of players, I'll just go through the main ones. I'll definitely have an in-depth episode where I'll take you through more of the players and stuff like this. So I just want to do this quickly. We've got Thorben Marks who went out um, to Mainz for 160k and it was a good decision according to the fans. Raul Bru Bruez, um, we sold him to Vitesse for 230k. Um, Christopher Hemeroth, we sent to Erfurt for 52k. Um, we released a bunch of players because we really didn't need them. Um, Oscar Wendt, we signed, we sold him to Groningen for 1.5 million. That was our biggest let go um, at the moment. Raphael, who for some reason I tried to sell him in January um, in the summer, but no one wanted him. And then um, I decided, you know what? Just to get him some buzz, just to get him some hype, I'm going to play him. And he actually put in some amazing performances. But the truth is, I just really didn't need him in my squad. As much as as well as he was playing i just didn't need him in my squad and you're probably gonna look at those stats and be like well what are you doing but um he's 28 and i'd rather like to cash on him now rather than later and he's at corinthians where he's going um on loan but they've got a choice to buy him for i think one million no two million um if he plays well whatever he does juan arango went to velez for free um, I couldn't get any money offer any time I tried to offer him for money no clubs would accept so I was like you know what to my director of football and we had a chat and he was just like you might as well just let him go on a free mate um, and that's what I did I just put his um, price to zero and um, he chose Velez to go to Velez and then we've got a bunch of youngsters that have gone out on loan and that is pretty much it with the transfers and stuff I've already showed you the fixtures um, the table as it stands now uh, let's go to First division, league table. So we're first. No surprise, we're first. You know, we've been undefeated um, since the second game of the season. And we're 10 points in front of Borussia Dortmund. Third of all teams is Mainz. 
um, who have surprisingly come out of their shell and literally just gone beast mode. They just played the most aggressive attacking football I've ever seen on this game so far. Um, Schalke are fourth. And Bayern Munich are fifth. I don't know what Pep's doing. I really don't know what Pep's doing. His job security at the moment is very unsecure. Um, so I think he's probably going to get sacked, especially because they're not going to be in the Champions League next season. And they're definitely not going to be coming first at all. Um, there's no hope for them. Um, the highest they can get is a qualification match for the Champions League. But he's definitely be get, he's going to get the sack. So, seeing as they're not going to be in the Champions League next season, I'm going to try and steal some of their young players and some, and even try and steal some of their top players. Um, depending on how much, what my transfer um, budget is next season. I definitely do feel I need a new striker and I'm definitely looking at Mandzukic because they haven't been playing him. They've been playing Bizarro. As it stands, they're playing him now, but that's because Bizarro is injured. But they've been playing Pizarro all season. He hasn't been doing the job. So I don't know what Pep's doing. But that's that's them, really. That's Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich have had an awful, awful, awful season. Um, yeah, it's just awful. Look, you can even see it from here for yourself. Awful season. Um, I think they, they're out of the Champions League as well. Um, and recently, they're in the Europa League. That says it all. They're in the Europa League, guys. And that says it all. And they've just lost. They're, they're out of the Europa League now. And it just shows here. It just shows it. Like they, I don't know what Pep's doing. I really don't know what Pep's doing. And he's got a bad opinion of me already. So I don't. I don't really care to be honest. Um, that is pretty much it. Um, Patrick Herman's been playing amazing. Cersei Churchy has been playing amazing. Casper Kusk has been amazing. These three have been my top um, providers. And this guy, Pinel Malapa. Has been playing absolutely amazing. If I show you his history, his goals here. So far, he's had 12 appearances and 12 goals, two assists, four, four player of the matches, and an average rating of 7.57. He's absolutely on fire, and I don't know why or wh where it's come from, but he's just been doing the business. He's scoring against top teams like Dortmund and Bayern Munich as well, so he's providing in the big games, and that's what we need. Max Cruz here. Is a player that um, he's been in and out of the squad. He's been in and out of the squad. As you can see, ten appearances, eight goals, three assists, one uh, player of the match, and uh, seven point six, seven six. Sorry, average rating. I'm um, looking to try and get rid of him um, just to free up some space in that position because um, although he has been doing the goods for us, I don't see a place for him in the future because I'm definitely going to obviously keep improving the squad. And um, yeah, I just don't see a spot in him, and I can cash in on seven million for him now rather than later. And I'm not selling him because he's been playing rubbish. I'm not selling him because um, he's crap. I'm just selling him because I want the best for him, and I don't see a place for him in the squad at the moment. And last player I'm going to take you through here, um, like I said, I'll do a more in-depth episode is Patrick Luke, the 17-year-old that I signed from Mainz at the start of the season. I've literally just tried to put. I've forced him if you will, into the squad, and he's been doing pretty well, 11 appearances, 3 goals, 1 assist, and a 7.97 match rating overall, average rating, um, to be honest, you're going to be like, oh, well, that's not that amazing, but for a 17-year-old in the top division, playing for a starting 11, you know, I think that's okay, I think that's okay for your first season, so yeah, that is pretty much it, I will definitely be doing, um, if I take you through the fixtures, what's our next game? I'll definitely be doing a live com here against Dortmund and then I'll probably do the next game against Dortmund. I probably will do the next game against Leverkusen as well and depending on what happens in the semi-final that will be the end of the season pretty much so I don't really need to show you anything else. So anyway guys um, that's it from me. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to leave a like. And if you're going to enjoy the series, sorry, be sure to give this the biggest like you can. And I will catch up with you guys in the next update. Peace.